Hi PB, standing here again. So, the reason I'm making this video is a bit strange. I um, I recently bought a brand new aquarium. I fi I swapped it out for my old one. I paid um, $1,000 and I got $500 back. Sorry, I paid, well, I got $500 for my old aquarium and um, the tank, the stand and the hood. He gave me $500 for it all, which I thought was quite a reasonable amount. And that left $1,000 left to pay on my new aquarium. And I thought, let me show you to begin with. It's a beautiful tank. It's huge. It's just under 200 gallons, which is 700 litres. Over 700 litres. It's about seven. Well, it's 700 litres, but they take 10% off for the gravel and the area above the tank. So really, it's, it's like 800 litres or around 200 gallons American. Now I thought I'd take you with me on the um, cycling. I thought, you know, okay, yep, so I'd expect the ammonia levels to go up for a few days and I'll put put prime in and put stability in. And I thought I'd have to do that for maybe a week or so, then I get the nitrites, nitrites up. And then maybe a couple days later I get the nitrates and I thought it'd take about a, maybe a week or two. To my surprise, I, I measured the ammonia and I started measuring it day two after purchasing the aquarium. I started measuring the ammonia and it was zero ammonia. So I'm thinking, all right, yep. So, okay. So the fish aren't pooing that much. It's a bit, it's a lot more water than what they're used to being in. So what I'm used to dealing with as well. So I thought, okay, yep. So day four, I measured no ammonia. Day five, no ammonia. Day seven, no ammonia. I'm thinking, what the hell's going on? So I measured the, um, the nitrates. And lo and behold, I was up to about 10 to 20 parts per million nitrates. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? I couldn't understand it. I still don't really know. All I can think of is that the tank was instantly cycled. I didn't have any media. All the, these, these, um, I've got two of them there. These, um, filters, they're only brand new. So they didn't have any beneficial bacteria. The only thing that could have had beneficial bacteria are the ornaments and the gravel. Now the gravel was in a small tub, so it was relatively well insulated from the oxygen. So all I can think of is that the gravel cycled the tank instantly. As soon as I put the gravel in and I put the water in, and the fish were put in, that's the only thing I can think of is that the gravel cycled the aquarium instantly. Because, like I said, like I tested it again yesterday, still zero ammonia, zero nitrites, and some nitrates. So, yeah, so there you go, guys. You can. It is possible to in, literally instantly cycle the aquarium. I don't know what the bacteria were eat. I don't know what the beneficial bacteria were eating when I first put the fish in. They must have starved for a little while till they pooed and I fed them. Anyway, have a look at the filtration I got. So this filter on the left, the one blowing out the bubbles, runs at like three and a half thousand litres per hour. I don't know how many gallons that is per hour, but anyway, it's a lot. It's As you can see, it's blowing the crap out of everything. And the one on the right, it's a much smaller engine, a much smaller motor, sorry. Sorry about the reflection, you can't really see it there. But the one on the right, I'm using for mechanical filtration. Sorry, for biological filtration. It's a lot less powerful. So it's full of media. So hopefully that will house all the beneficial bacteria. And the one on the left, the more powerful one, I'll be cleaning out once a month. The one on the right, I'll be doing it once every three months. Now it's been about a week or two and it's already starting to clog up. I'm not sure you can see it. Anyway, this up this tank is a big upgrade. I went from well, I'll just say it's it's four inches taller than my old tank, and it's six inches deeper, six inches more across. It's still the same six foot tank, still fits in the same spot, but it's got a hell of a lot more water. Now I've been looking up. Um, I was watching a um, Ben O chart, Ben O Cichlid O chart video. I'm not sure if you're familiar with him. You probably are if you're watching this video. And he said that on the um, the aquarium co-op test strips, they say to do a water change when the nitrates hit 100 parts per million. And I thought, wow, 
Oh, that's a bloody lot. That is a lot. What do you guys think? Do you think letting the nitrates go up to 100 parts per million is too much? Please, I'm really interested to know. Because the first tank I ever, the first tank that I, that I kept, I maybe did a water, I didn't know much about keeping fish. I, I did a water change maybe every three months and the fish were okay. I, I didn't, I never used to test the water. I didn't even know about test strips or master test kits or anything like that. So please tell me what you think is, is a hundred parts per million nitrates too much? I love this guy, he's called Ghost. Look at his eyes. And that's Max. I got him from a fish rescue. He's a red-shouldered severum. No, he does not show himself, okay. This is red. This is a red spot. So please, please let me know. Is 100 parts per million crazy high? Maybe they can deal with it for a few months. I'm, I'm not sure. Let me know what you think, guys. So tell me what you think about my instant cycle. Do you think it was the, the gravel and the ornaments? Alright guys, well thanks for hanging out this far, please like and subscribe, leave a message, I respond to all the messages, say so if you want to say hello, please do, thank you.